Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Beverly Langdon. Um, I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy that you've joined me. And uh, before I go on, you know, over the past few days, I just checked my subscriptions and we have crossed 500 subscribers. Yay! I'm excited. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And, um, you know, I just have to grab something to celebrate this milestone. Let me sip some more. I'm coming. Wait for me. Mm. Ghana is so hot. I can take this like this to cool your system. Anyways, so um, thank you for joining me today. Today, um, it's going to really be basic about life, about you, about me, what we've been through, laughing over it, making it, um, you know, embracing whatever challenge we have come across and really feeling okay when things are not going our way. Once upon a time, you and I were told that, you know, you grow up, go to junior high school, senior high school, tertiary, get a job, buy a house, buy a car, get married, have children, possibly travel around the world. But you and I know at this point in our lives that that was not the case. I don't know if that's qualified to call it a scam or something. Perhaps they thought, you know, they could use that to encourage us. But you and I know that. It's, that's not the case and it's okay okay it's okay that um, these plans these things that we were told to guide how we grow up what this is the decisions we make but don't go our way Charlie it's okay now let, let me let me start this way so perhaps um, going to school right you start from going to school primary junior high senior high then you go to tertiary for me um, senior high school even with that, um, it was difficult for my parents to take me to senior high school because there was no money to take me to senior high school. Senior high school, my brother, senior high school. It was difficult, there was no money. And so luckily for me, um, in my town, a senior high school was established and was for free. All I needed was to get my uniform, get bags, get some books, and then off I go. That was all. It was a walking distance to school actually. So I could just take a walk and then um, go to school and then come back. Now I went through that and um, completed and then tertiary says, here my mind. Mm, mini, but for me. Yeah, I know it's in the house. going to go to tertiary. Come, come, come and get me. That one too. There was no money to take me to school. Wow. And then I'll go back and then like, ah. they said go to school. Go to junior high, senior high, tertiary, complete and then have a life. But even tertiary, it's tough. Why is it so? No one could give me an answer and I couldn't answer myself. All I could realize was that this is just life happening to me, okay? And maybe you would find yourself in a similar situation or you found yourself in a similar situation. So um, what happened? I, once again, not to rub it in your face that, you know, something good happened for me, but I got a scholarship and then um, for my tertiary education for four years throughout, everything was paid, my fees, my accommodation, like every single thing. Um, MasterCard Foundation at Comfort. So like all the four years, everything was taken care of. Every single thing you can think of. Transport to school, books, just say, like, every single thing was taken care of. And so I was like, oh yeah, finally something good is coming. But for me, that's how um, I've been able to get a true scholarship. But what about you? Maybe you didn't have the opportunity to, you know, hear about um, a scholarship or have an uncle who has promised to help you but never delivered. You know, you are stressed, you, 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 you are depressed, and you feel like everything is just not working. Come on school. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it gets to a point where you won't really, like, give up. I can't do it anymore. And you need to keep up. You need to go to school. You need to have a higher something that will put you ahead of somebody who hasn't even, who hasn't even gotten the opportunity to get to where you are now. And so, you know, you just have to keep trying. And so you force, you take yourself to school, to tertiary. Now you are done. National service, then you have to find a job. National service posts in Honsem Kran, only the national service alone, the stress, the disappointment, the rounds. 
just to get a place where you think and believe that is the right place for you to begin your practice like your career a good place for you to you know build a strong foundation for your progress okay but then it's just it's just all over the place you are struggling you are stressed out and you know people who knows you know people who know people okay who can easily connect them to where they want to work but for you and i who do we know who do you know who do i know nobody so the struggle itself to get a place to be posted to begin something the struggle itself to get a place to be employed and let's say fast forward perhaps you got help you got a place where you where, where you wanted to do your service or even if you don't get you okay you're posted somewhere else you have to just do the one year service to the nation you do it and then you begin to search for job you begin to search for jobs and um you know it's hard i um this one's not to rub in your face but luckily for me or by the grace of god i got a job right after my national service okay and i have siblings who sent out applications and not get a single call a single call for an interview and even when you get a call and then you go for the interview and then you come back you don't hear from them again you know why not because you're not great oh but because someone knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody and then perhaps you just don't get it unless there's a special grace upon you where you can get some of these jobs but then thinking about all of these once again it's really okay you know sometimes you go through certain things and then you are like okay why is this happening to me then why is this happening to me and at the point you feel frustrated you feel stressed you feel like you are on your own you are struggling you have no one to help you have no one to listen to you feeling that way alone is okay and then the feeling you have after feeling that particular way is also okay i know you can testify the fact that sometimes you know you've gone through something very difficult and you cry about it you will you tell people about it and a lot of a lot a whole lot of issues and then some days um, after you think about it again and you're like ah, so did i really cry about this thing was that really me like why would i even cry about something like that but it was just okay at the point where you were crying it's so okay that you cry about something. It's so okay that things don't go your way. It's so okay not to have it all figured out. Now, um, by God's grace, you get a job. You are working. Now, society's expectation. I mean, society, you know, we have a conversation about society sometimes. But is there a man or is there a woman? Because I don't, I, I don't get whether him or her. You know, as I said, go to school, get a job, get money, build house, and get married. Now, a young lady, you are working. A young man, you are working. But the society begins to pressure you. When I get married, when I bring in a man home, when are you doing this, when are you doing that, when are you doing this? And funny enough, society speaks through people. I, perhaps, you know, we are in different generations, like different times and seasons. During our grandparents' time and our great-grandfathers, School no crown, no, they don't really attend, so they get married and you know have children and then be housewives and all that. But now things have changed. And if it's very difficult for your pals to understand, just take your time and then just do you. You get it? Just take your time and do you. Don't bow to society's pressure of getting married. You remember they told us that when you go to school, you complete, you, know, you get a job, you get money to buy a house. I don't even have a land. Do you have one? Like one plot of? I don't have. They made it look like it was all figured out, like it's so easy, you can easily get it. Like it was like, you get there, you pick, you get there, you pick, you get there. But it's not that way. And so society, whether a man or a woman, cannot, you know, make you seem like you're a failure when you don't have certain things in your life at some point in time. Especially when you clock some ages and it's like, some people start counting down for you. Like we are 30 now. Okay, so if you don't get married now and you can't give birth at this age and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Hey, you are tired. Are they? Why? Why, 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 are you, why are you making people feel like they owe it to somebody, a society that we don't even know whether it's a human being or not? And what's the hope? Now all stress you know. Sister, but she would cook. She would cook. 
cubes, ice cubes, boom. Now far a year too. Now tell me, what's in a megan? She say, don't worry. Don't worry, things are not going your way. Don't worry. There are times where, you know, sometimes in line of duty or whatever, like in your life, your decisions, you make certain mistakes and then you feel like, I shouldn't have made these mistakes. But making those mistakes makes you feel like you shouldn't have made a mistake in the first place. But we also heard that it's okay to make mistakes, you learn from them. But certain situations make you, I don't know, they drain you, they break you, like you shouldn't have made those mistakes. And then how can I not make mistakes? You're human, right? So make the mistakes. It's okay. You don't have it all figured out. It's okay. You don't have that dream house. It's okay. You don't have a car. You know the transport I pay, I pay to go to work. It's not easy. But it's okay. I can't have it all figured out like today or tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. Okay? It, it's, it's not... If wishes were horses, it's bad. You know? It, you can't have it all. You cannot have it all. And so a step at a time. One step at a time. You don't allow people's successes to be, um, how should I say? Don't measure your success by someone's success, okay? No matter how old the person is or how young you are or whatever, the journeys you know, they are different. So why can't you accept that the journeys are different? In all of it, find happiness. Find what gives you joy, what gives you peace of mind. You can't trade these things for anything. You can't trade them for any, any, for anything. If not, if you do not find some a, a place where you know you can feel alive again, feel loved, depression, being miserable, you know, feeling that the world is against you, you're racing against time. Don't let it be that way. It's going to be okay one day, and we're going to meet on this channel again with our one million subscribers and the two cook. Remember this day that once upon a time we said I was going to be okay and truly it has been okay. Thank you for watching this episode. My name is Beverly Langdon. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Now we are on our journey to 1K and so please join this campaign. Like, subscribe, share the video, share the links. I have other uh, videos I have um, I've uploaded so please do check them out and then I'll see you next time.